All right, so what am I test driving today? It's a Model X. Uh, those of you who know me well, it's the one car I've never really thought I would ever buy. And, and no, I'm just test driving, I'm not buying it. But here it is, uh, this is just to, to take a look, to know exactly why I'm saying no. Um, What are these? They're Pirellis. Does it tell me? Where does it say? All season. Uh, 265 35R22s. Okay. Yeah, 265. Yeah, same thing. So they're square tires. Okay. Anyway, this looks pretty nice, actually. So if you have room in your garage for a Model S shaped car, uh, an X might be uh, an option for you. Whoa! Yeah, okay, somebody scratched that up. Okay, whatever. Um, of course, the spoiler is a fixed spoiler. That'd be nice if it went down like a Porsche's did, but um, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so there you go. That's the outside tour. And yes. Um, yeah, it's almost, it's right about my eyes height. Wow, okay, what, 5'8"? Yeah, 5'8", five, 5'9"? Five, Is that height? Okay. All right, so the feature is, press here. Oops. Oh, I forgot this is the fucking wing door. Zuma, zuma, okay. So here you go. Here's a here's the rear two seats. Oh my goodness. Um, there is some room here. Uh, a little bit more room than the Model Y, but I don't feel like it's that much. Then again, how? Let's go back like this. I don't know. Okay, it's not immediately obvious to me how I would adjust this rear seat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this rear seat adjusted so that uh, there's room for other people. It's pretty tight. Okay, so I got a little button over here. Let's push the button. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's what the roof looks like and the door. So there is, oh, actually because of this cut out of the roof, there's plenty of room for my head. <laughs> What's the problem? It's just this base here feels kind of claustrophobic, but it doesn't help that I'm sitting close. Okay. Um, so if I push the button. Okay. Push the other button. All right. Oh, yeah. Just in case you didn't know about it, there's a display screen down there. Oh, how interesting, okay. Um, Musica. Okay. 
All right, anyway, peace and harmony. Oh, <laughs> in case you need to know what kind of car you're in, this is Model X. Yeah. Okay, this is the MG Graph. Um, it looks a little different. I'm not quite sure what's, why it's different. But anyway, look at the detail here. Low tire pressure costs 0 0.2 miles. Really? Setting cap and temperature is 72 with a save 0 0.2 miles. Okay. Yes, I'm on 69. Sorry, I'm, it's, it's only 92 degrees, but still. Going uphill costs 3.5 miles and going downhill save 2.2 miles. I don't remember seeing that in my Model Y. So, anyway, that, that's just interesting that it's here. Okay. So, let me show you this here. Okay, you can open the Falcon doors. You can open these doors. Okay, press it. Whoop! Oh, ha! Well, it didn't go all the way, did it? Anyway, that's kind of interesting. Okay, I'll admit that those uh, Falcon wing doors are pretty cool. Oh, it feels like it's an over-engineered over solution. Um, of course, I don't know. You, you don't have much choice. You have to do what you did, but uh, to make it work, I mean, it's supposed to give you a feeling of uh, luxury. So, although <laughs> with this with this seven seat option. I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I'm having problems adjusting it, but there it is. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, Ray, you did that stupid. Yeah. Push the button. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. So it's a little bit cushioned behind it. Okay, so the right way to do it is, like a king, press the button. Like a boss, dude. Open that. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay, so what I have found And what I've done to the driver's seat is I put the seat down a fair amount. Um, not sure how my passengers would like it, but I, I feel more comfortable sitting closer to the ground. Oh, yes. Before I forget it. Although I don't feel the air conditioning blow through it. Maybe we need to check the air conditioning set. All right, how's that work, Ray? Press this button. And here comes the door. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, you gotta admit, that's cool. Okay, so software is 11.1, or the build is 2023.20.9. I think that's pretty much equivalent to my Model Y. Uh, navigation is 14.515. It does have a full self-driving computer, but I don't think it has FSD in it. Uh, it's adaptive suspension, premium audio, audio full self-driving computer, CCS adapter enabled, heat pump, uh, Home Link 5, really, huh. infotainment RAM is 16 gig, does that sound a little bit low, I don't know, I, I don't remember what it is in the other car. Uh, AMD Ryzen, obviously. The low voltage is a lithium ion, which will last longer. Both the front and rear motors are permanent magnet. Tow avail capability is available. I guess it's not installed. Is that what that means? Okay, whatever. Cool, awesomeness. Um, controls, not controls. Pedal steering. Slip start trailer mode. Oh, it has trailer mode. Um, so I don't know where I got it from in that Model S review. 
and I asked this, the sir, the uh, representative guy. He basically said uh, sport to insane, and then in, in the uh, plaid model, instead of insane, it would say plaid. Okay, I mean that's obviously a reference to space balls, but it seems to me you go to an insane acceleration, and that causes you to jump to plaid speed. But whatever, peace and harmony, it's all good, right? Um, auto shift out of park. Oh, this is this thing is a riot. Apply brakes when regenerative braking is limited, of course. Suspension, we are set in low. Really? Use comfort dampening. So I guess we're in comfort as opposed to sport. Okay. Charging. Who cares? Autopilot. So we have auto. It has auto steer, just not FST. Locks. Of course, there's three. There's three locks. What? Three keys. Lights. Rear fog. What's a rear fog light? Ambient lights. What? Okay, I don't know. Dome lights are off, auto headlights. Rear fog? I don't know. I don't I don't know what that means. Okay. Th this has the tilting uh, display. Let's center, shall we? There we go. Center. That's centered? Okay. Trips. Did I already cover trips? Uh, 10 miles, 19 minutes. Use 350 watt hours per mile. 350 watt hours per mile? Okay, so 350 means it's uh, going to get a little bit less than 3 miles per kilowatt. Now, for those of you who haven't been following in, in other places, my goal is I'm looking for almost four miles per kilowatt. And I'm realizing I can't get maybe like 3.7, but to get less than three miles per kilowatt, wow, that's a that's giving up a lot to me. Okay. Navigation. No worry about navigation, safety, and safety to sentry mode, controls. Oh, um ba ba ba. Steering, and I want to. Um, push it in a little bit. There we go. Okay. That's good. Okay. So, Ray, what are you thinking? I think this is actually much better than I thought it would be. Um, so, here's the front. Um, windshield, if you want to call it that, windshield roof display. Um, one of the things you are sacrificing in this car is you don't get as much glass roof. Okay, and the roof does is to, it comes down in some places, obviously for mechanical linkages. But that's okay. I mean, it's all right. Um, wiper. Let's see, charge limits set to 85%. We're sitting at let's call it 7374. But man, you're you're gonna burn through uh, energy pretty quick in this car. Okay, whatever. What else can I tell you about this? Oh, the charge port did open. Okay. Close charge port. It helps to push it correctly. Alright. Um, this is no big deal. Obviously, it has the basic infotainment stuff. Let's. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about it. And actually, I do feel. 
it, it's hard to, to put my finger exactly on it. Maybe it's not hot enough just right now. Um, hey. Oh, no, hey, 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 come on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? is there he is Bob FM okay all right well it takes care of that part okay so oh yeah okay I, I am feeling it oh that is so much nicer oh my goodness so wait, there's, they say the new uh, Highland Model 3 is supposed to have uh, air-conditioned seats? Oh man, do I have, I have to sell my, my Model 3? But I have to sell, to transfer the FSD, I have to buy the new car almost immediately. That's not happening. So I guess I'm stuck, oh no. Anyway, for those of you who are waiting on the fence, if Highland, if the Highland Model 3 does indeed come in air-conditioned seats, if you live in Texas, believe me, or someplace that's hot, believe me, it's well worth the investment. Okay, there you go. Okay, as long as we're just sitting here, turn signals, uh, turn on high beam, low beam, left scroll wheel, the horn, obviously. This is the autopilot wheel. Um, if you want to wipe your windshield, and voice command. Um, most definitely. Oh, I don't like this yoke. I can adjust to it, but that's not great. Okay, let me be perfectly clear. Oh man, I like this air conditioned seat. Oh, this is so much better than what I have in my Model Y. I mean, if you can arrange to get a car with the air-conditioned seat, I mean, uh, the S and X, I know they have it. The three and a Y, the rumor is that they might be upgrading to that. So if you can upgrade to it, I would do it. Okay, there you go. All right, so coming back, 382 watt hours per mile. Yeah, eight miles, 17 minutes. Um, yeah, I used to accelerate a little bit more coming back. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if you... I didn't show you this, right? So, this is the scroller. So, when you're just parked, put your brake, and then you press the accelerator, you're in drive. Okay. So, you'll go to reverse. There you go. You're in reverse. You want to go to drive. Scroll it up. You want to go to park. Hold it down, parked. There you go. Um, all right, so that was a very, very nice car, actually. Um, it's just the energy efficiency I have a hard time with, right? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to be pushing close to f four uh, miles per kilowatt. So if I'm not going anywhere near it, I, I'm to me, I'm not being efficient enough. I mean, granted, there are times when you're getting closer to three, but whatever. Um, the other thing, obviously, and I've said it on the Model S uh, the demo, um, oh, that yoke. Oh, I don't like that yoke. I mean, I was adjusting to it to some extent, but I'm grabbing at weird times for the wheel, whereas the round wheel would be in the same place every time, right? So, I mean, I, I don't know, whatever. To each his own, I guess, but there you go.